Could you strike a match in the middle of a typhoon? Stick around, guys. Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to Urban Outdoors. Hey, I'm Urban. But you knew that, didn't you? Today, guys, I want to talk to you about a product that I got in my stocking for Christmas. Santa gave me these, and it is the Zippo Typhoon Matches. So I'm going to demonstrate these, show them to you, and tell you what I think about them. Previous to this, I've carried the UCO Storm Matches, which are good, but I think these Zippos are a lot better, and I'll tell you why. The first thing, when you feel this case that these matches come in, you can feel quality. You can see the quality. You have a spot up here where you could put on a piece of paracord, and you could do a uh, carabiner on that to attach it to something if you wanted to and the case itself is just very very good quality when you open it up it has an o-ring around here you can see so it is water resistant also on the cap on the inside of the cap you'll see here is a rubberized it's very soft and if you look close, you can see the indentation of the match tips. That, being rubber and soft, keeps the sulfur tip from wearing off of the matches, which is a great thing. That's the type of quality we're talking about here. On this, just the cap alone speaks of quality. And then, like I say, you have the rubber o-ring there that makes it waterproof the set comes with 15 of the matches and you can buy replacements of course the matches look to me to be very well made i'm going to give you some dimensions and stuff on that in a little bit but i just want to show you the quality of the case itself first then normally like on the UCO storm matches the striker is right here the striking panel but with the Zippos with the Zippo Typhoon matches you take this very tight again waterproof rubber lid off of the bottom and you can see the striker is underneath there the striker is not going to be in danger of being ruined by moisture so again that's just another sign of the quality of this match kit i think it would hold up against a lot of dropping and stuff like that and it's got on there zippo tmk which is the zippo typhoon match kit I want to demonstrate how they work and show you a couple of other cool features of it. So stick around. <laughs> Alright, I've got a little demonstration area set up here for you. And you can see I've got a little container with water in it one thing you'll notice about the whole kit is that it floats so if you were to drop this in a stream or a lake or whatever it floats you're not going to lose it that's great it's also like I say waterproof so even though I'm submerging it under the water the matches in the striker are secure 
and they'll be completely dry. Alright, so now I'm going to take it out of the water. Put the water aside. I'm going to shake it off a little bit. Dry it on my pants here. Alright, so now let's, let's let me fluff up a little bit of stuff here. See if we can get a fire started. This is just a little piece of jute twine that I have. I got a couple of pieces of fat lighter. I'm going to start a big fire because it's kind of windy today. Oh, and I don't think that the wind's going to be an issue. It shouldn't. Not for a typhoon match, right? Alright, so let's take the top off. And as you can see, everything is completely dry. Not one drop of water after being submerged underwater. And then, as we open up the bottom, you can see the striker is completely dry as well. A little teeny bit of water there on the outside, but not on the inside. Alright, so what we're going to do now, we're going to strike it up here. Move my water so I don't melt my container. Let's see how they strike up. That was pretty easy. First strike. You can see there it's going. So we can get a little, whoa, get a little fire going there. Let's try this. Let's try to put it out. Submerge it under the water. Take it out. It's still burning. Submerge it again. Look at it, it comes back. It's still burning. So wow, how awesome is that? So the match was completely submerged as you can see. And then it relit. And then I submerged the match again and it relit. Obviously, if the match was just to get wet wet because of rain or whatever, it's going to strike. If you can submerge it and have it reignite, it's going to light, obviously. They burn for plenty of time for you to get a fire started. If you have some tinder, I was lucky enough to have a little piece of fat wood. Um, see there? And then, but yeah, the uh, Zippo Typhoon Match Kit. Like I say, you can get it on Amazon for about 18 bucks. But definitely a great emergency fire igniting system that you should have in your kits. Alright, so the matches themselves as you can see here are right at four and a quarter inches long. The burning section of the matches is just under three inches long. The case as you can see is about four and three quarter inches long. About two inches wide. Very good quality case, very good quality match. Now let's test the burn time. Alright, what we're going to do now, I have to hold this with my knees and do this with one hand. I want to see how long the match will burn. Go. Now this is without dunking it in water. This is just how long you'd have to get a fire started. And uh, I like that the fact that the base has got enough for you to hold on to it. Even if you had on gloves, you got plenty of room down here at the base. And then there, when it gets to the end of that red, it fizzles out. So, I don't know how long that was. I'll have to go back when I do the editing and I'll put the uh, time on the screen for you as far as burn time. I want to thank Santa Claus for bringing me the Zippo Typhoon Match Kit. And uh, I'm going to look forward to using them in the future. I'm going to buy some replacements as I go through these. But anyway, I just wanted to share this product with you. And uh, hopefully it will help you out. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I'm looking forward to a great New Year's Eve. While I've got you, I'd like to ask you. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, make sure you give me a thumbs up and click the bell. And I'd really appreciate it if you could leave me some comments down below about what you think 
of the Zippo matches. Whether you've used them or not. If you've used them, tell me about your experience. If you haven't used them, is it something you consider adding to your bug out bag or to your backpack or whatever? But I do appreciate all of you. Thanks for coming along on Urban Outdoors. Till next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors. The striker is not going to be in damn it, in damn it. So the striker, if it gets, if this, I think it would be, um, uh,